Paso mo ay dalhin sa pinating gawin Diktip kong makaba, pero yan ay ayos lang Kasi hindi sa spigo, lights, camera, action! Pero not so by with what we see or in the spotlight So buhin ang lahat ng may mabulay na balika Ready as come to life, and there's no turning back We are more than we will shine, so Throughout the centuries, there have been numerous and notable Thamashians. We have Jose Rizal and Manuel Quezon in history, and in modern times, we have Alice Eduardo and Janine Tugonon, and those are just few of the many. Even as centuries pass, USC never failed to produce outstanding Thamashians who shine not only in their own craft, but also carry different success stories in their hearts. Stories that entail challenges that encountered, stories that exhibit how, how time changed, and the flow of the contemporary world and how they rose above all of them and realized their dreams. I am Ella Gaspi and join me here in Beyond the Arch as we uncover a story of a Thamashian baker who has hindered, who was once hindered from pursuing his dreams which led him to take a different path yet in the end he found his way back to his craft and fell in love with the art of baking where he succeeded. Hello, I am Wado Siman, a 2010 graduate of Communication Arts from the University of Santo Tomas and I'm currently running Wados along other businesses and this is my journey from España to Maginhawa. After I graduated, I worked in the TV industry for three years as a video editor, as a writer, as a supervising editor but eventually got burned out and I felt like I really wanted to be inside the kitchen. So, since freshman, I was very vocal that I, I wanted to cook and uh, probably because I was influenced by my family's uh, food business. But I had no chance of taking up culinary because of some uh, no, financial problems at that time. Like any other typical college student, I just wanted to have fun. So, I enjoyed my four years of college by joining different organizations like I was a varsity of uh, AB swimming team, I was a drummer in a band, uh, I was a tomcat head, creative said during my time. So reminiscing my four years of college in USC, I would compare it to a butter cake because it was smooth like butter. Through my four years in USD, I just wanted to have fun. I enjoyed para ma avoid yung stress of mga studies ko talaga. So having a communication arts degree has helped me a lot in running the business cause parang it helped me communicate the products I'm trying to sell. So our strategy revolves around creating and engaging social media content and captions not only to create hype but also to encourage people to actually buy our products. Ako nga po pala si Chef Wado Siman at ito ang kaya sa kusina. So meron akong actual na so meron akong cake. So it is important to remember that more than good product, we need good sales fellowship. Now I'm currently running Wados and a few other businesses, and I'm confident that I made the right choice in pursuing my dreams. So I had this tattooed a little more over a year ago. Sabi ko kasi I'm really afraid of needles, and I wanted my first tattoo to be very, very meaningful. And after seven years in the business, uh, yung Wados namin sa Maginhawa, and after 12 years of baking, I decided to have the logo of my business, Wados, tattooed on me para Forever na siya. I honestly cherished my four years in USD and I'm thrilled to come back to a place where I started dreaming and believing and surviving. Humanda at sabay-sabay tayong ma-impress sa ating Thomasian skilled baker guest for today. 
Please welcome Chef Wado Tan Siman. Close the door. I feel a breeze. Hold me, please. I hate to be alone. It's a cold night. Turn off the lights. Come take my hand and listen to the things I have to say. Please understand, she left me all alone again. You gotta check this out. You gotta choose. You gotta experience this. You gotta try this. this. Don't think twice. You gotta experience happiness in every swirl. Welcome to Tiger Trails, where we explore the stories etched between the walls of the university, one memory at a time. This is Sophia Tizon, your Tiger Explorer. And today, we're taking a stroll down memory lane and uncovering the hidden treasures that have stood the test of time. Tara, samahan niyo ako! Right now, I am standing in front of the Roque Ruanyu building. Did you know that before the Quadricentennial Pavilion was built, there was a famous hard rock right here surrounded with stone chairs? It was a favorite hangout spot for many Tomasians, especially engineering students back in the 90s and early 2000s. Now we're here at Q Park, the former Colaico Park, which was named after Manuel Colaico, a faculty member who lost his life guiding American forces to liberate the campus from Japanese control. Students and visitors can explore an interactive fountain and admire the stunning Tetra Global glass sculpture by architecture alumnus and renowned sculptor Ramon Orlina, which was made to symbolize unity and knowledge. But who says nostalgia can only be felt in places? Most of the time, it's wrapped in the stories of people too. One shining example is Catherine K. Carpio, or more popularly known as Ateyama, who was a nursing student back in the 2000s. She used to sell her homemade yama to Tomasians at her usual spot near Beata Pavilions and Santissimo Rosario Parish. Ateyama has become an inspiration for her hard work and perseverance. As we conclude our journey, it is evident that despite the changes with these places, the memories they encapsulate remain deeply rooted in the hearts and minds of every Tomasian. USD isn't just a university. For many, it was once a place where they had adventures, comfort, and happiness, and was once their home. This has been Tiger Trails, where we explore the stories etched between the walls of the university, one memory at a time. Once again, I'm Sophia Tizon, your Tiger Explorer.
this video for an enlightening and sentimental stroll around the historic grounds of our university. And now let's proceed to Tiger's Ball. Here we have our Tiger's Bowl that contains themes of cupcakes related to your college journey up until your life as a business as up until your life as a businessman and a baker. Now, kapag kabumunot po ako dito ng papel, um, all we have to do is create a design on the cupcake related dun sa nakasulat. So, um, up naman po ang baking skills natin for today's video. <laughs> Kayang kaya yan. So, let's proceed for our first theme. So for our first theme, USD colors or any symbol that represents your life in USD. USD cupcakes. Yes, USD colors. So parang feeling ko Del Monte Kitchenomics po tayo dito ngayon. So So anong ano, ma-interview lang po kayo sa mga um, gagamitin niyo mga um, frostings ngayon. What kind of frostings are these? Um, are these sprinkles handmade or brief us kung ano yung design na gagawin niyo po sa ating cupcake? Black gold, black white. So, double frosting tayo. Kailangan siya lumabas. Ayan. So, pag nilagay natin siya dito sa cupcake, automatic dalawang kulay na siya. Pabangan natin para hindi ako nanginginig. Yun. So, bakit po black gold, black white? Ang naisip nyo po ng theme ng cupcake natin ngayon. Yes, USD. And ano naman po ang uh, significance ng, let's say, cheers or um, uh, yung black gold, black white sa journey nyo naman po here in USD? Well, ako, I can say na most of the, ewan ko, siguro yung confidence ko rin. Kasi dito sa USD, habang nag-aaral ako, um, parang sobrang na-boost yung social skills ko. Kasi yung mga friends ko rin, yung mga barkada ko na nakilala sa USD. Very outgoing, siguro dahil com art student siya. Sa mga com arts talaga ang maano tayo. So parang na-practice yung PR ko, na, na, nagagamit ko naman sa pagbibusiness kasi mas sanay ako to communicate to people sa mga uh, customers. You know. So yan, so ito, very simple lang siya. Uh, black, gold, black, white na cupcake. And very, very, ano, very festive, very on theme. Very UST po ang ating um, cupcake. Now, let's proceed to picking our next theme naman. So, here ang ating mahiwagang Tiger's Bowl. So, ang, for the theme ng ating next cupcake is Symbol of Your Success. <laughs> symbol of Your Success. Ano naman po ang design na yun? Chinese ako mag-red tayo. Para ano, sim ang red is Dugo. Ah, ano? Lock. Straight ito. Straight in color siya for Chinese people. Tapos, alisin muna natin yung first color. Yan. So, red. Uh, gawin naman natin siyang... Ay, wala. <laughs> May tissue ba tayo? Hindi. Kasi may gagawin ako kaya siya ganyan. So that, that's success siya at ano ang Chinese is red and gold so ididip na lang natin siya sa gold sprinkles yan. <laughs> so with um your uh, college career uh, you took up communication arts and then ended up becoming a businessman and pursuing your dreams of becoming a baker. Um, paano naman po itong cupcake na to as a symbol of your success and yung journey nyo um, during your college life? Well, ironically, ako ay nag-start ako mag-bake, hindi naman to make money out of it. Parang gusto ko lang talaga mag-bake dahil I was very passionate about food. 
Um, and then siguro rin yung frustration ko comes from hindi ko mahanap yung cake na gusto ko. Every time I go outside, parang hindi ko nakikita yung masarap na cake. So, nag-decide ako na ako na lang gagawa. So, when I started, it's really more of yun. Uh, for myself, gusto ko talaga ng masarap na cake. Parang comfort, comforting siya sa akin, the act of baking and syempre yung eating din. And then, yung making money out of it came after na lang nung na-realize ko na bake ako ng bake, tapos wala na akong pera. <laughs> so sabi ko, siguro it's about time na I can start selling. So that's when I started selling my cupcakes online. That was 2012. Doon ako nag-start as an online seller. Yeah. So um, this was during your college journey or after po? Yeah, after pa siya kasi nung college ako, I was... Uh, Nag-work muna ako after graduation sa TV. So, I was a TV editor. And, uh, yun, writer din ako sa TV. So, grabe yung, um, if we can take a look at the, the close-up nung dalawang cupcakes na nagawa ni uh, Chef Wado for today, um, grabe yung um, stories as as well, di ba? So, um, with becoming a com arts graduate and then becoming a chef and a businessman, um, sa tingin ko, uh, marami pa tayo matututunan about Chef Wado sa ating mga pabaon today. Grabe yung mga pabaon na stories and syempre ang mga pabaon yung food sa ating sa atin today. And thank you so much for sharing a little bit of uh, your insight so that our audience can get to know you more. And with that, let us proceed to our most awaited code sa mga nanu nunood dyan ngayon um, our code uh, for you guys so that you can message our Facebook page uh, our code is pastry ayan once again uulitin ko ang code natin ay pastry and make sure tandaan nyo yan and send that code to our Facebook page at Morph Collective to get a chance to win our vouchers for you kung na-enjoy nyo naman ang ating mga kantuhan, don't go anywhere and stick around because we have more in store for you here in Beyond the Arch. You gotta check this out. You gotta choose. You gotta experience this. Try this! You gotta order! You gotta taste this! Don't think twice! You gotta experience happiness in every swirl! Chef Wado has shown his expertise sa pagde-decorate ng cupcakes while talking about his experience in USD years ago. It's time for that we compare what is then and now. Now, we look back and talk about various dimension cultures. ngayon ginagawa pa rin and sasagutan niyo lang po siya kung um, then and now so kung dati lang siya or ginagawa pa rin natin ngayon so Chef Wado, are you ready? 
super ready. Super ready. Nakahanda na ang kanyang mga placards. And mag-proceed na tayo for our first culture, which is pag-uusapan natin ang Tomasian Welcome Walk. So tingin nyo ba, Chef, does this only exist then or now? Naku, ano yan? Hindi pwede mawala yan. So feel ko now. Ayan. And the correct answer is now. Ginagawa pa rin natin ang Tomasian Welcome Walk, also known as the Rite of Passage, only started, actually. It started noong 2002, of where freshman students from all colleges, including high school, will go through the arch of the centuries as a symbol of becoming Tomasian. Uh, so, yung ginawa ko kanina. Yes. Parang na-refresh yung... Kanina. Parang na-relive natin yung memory. And um, gusto niyo po bang i-share yung experiences ng um, kayo, once a college student, once a freshie, entering the Arch of the Centuries. Oh, kasi yung time namin, meron kami kasabihan na, yun nga, kapag pumasok ka sa Arch, bawal ka lumabas doon until graduation. Kasi di ba pag-graduation, tsaka ka lang exit Pero syempre kami, medyo pasaway kami during our time. So, first year college pa lang, pasok labas na kami doon. So, we wanted to prove the urban legend wrong. Well, Thank well, God, nakagraduate naman ako. Nakagraduate naman. So I think uh, it remains as an urban legend that dahil um Oh, so ano, hindi totoo 'yan ha, na pag lumabas ka doon. Myth pala siya. So um ang next naman nating culture, we have the UST hug culture. So tingin niyo pa, this is a new thing or it existed back then. Hug culture. Ngayon ko lang siya narinig. So ano 'yun? Paano pag Wala na siya ngayon kasi nag-pandemic. <laughs> so, so, bawal na hug-hug ngayon. Actually, is then. Okay. Then po ang ating UST hug culture. Now, around 2010 onwards, the hug culture was very prominent kung saan nakakapag-normalize yung um, pag-hug as a greeting ng ating mga Tomasians. Siyempre, walang mali siya. Friends, strangers, acquaintances, teachers, and siyempre, si Crush. And unti-unti na lang nawawala dahil sa pandemic. So, tama ang sagot ni Chef doon. Hindi, so, tsaka 2010 ako graduate. So, kaya baka hindi ko naabutan tong hug culture na yan. Kasi na kami ano-ano lang eh. Appear, appear, appear lang kami. Appear, disappear. Yeah. <laughs> so, kahit si Crush, ina-appear niya lang din. Oh, fist bump. Fist bump daw. Fist bump daw. Fist bump daw. Pag ganun. So, Ano naman yung thoughts mo of bringing back hug culture if ever um, uh, ngayon kung ibabalik na siya? Ako like, I think the, the, yung Tomasian community, very ano tayo, very welcoming, di ba? So parang yun na rin yung naging signature natin. Kunyari, I meet new people, Al ramdam mo talaga pag Tomasian siya, very ano, parang may lukso ng dugo. So very comfortable ako around Tomasian. So I think wala namang masama if ibabalik natin yung hug culture kasi it's more of parang term of, ano yan, parang Greeting. The, greeting siya eh. Uh, na walang mali siya, di ba? Siyempre, of yeah. course. Yeah. So, okay yan. Balik natin yan. Now, for our next culture, we have the Thomasian kick-off party which indicates the beginning of the UAAE season. So, Chef, do you think it only existed then or it's still here now? Sana hindi nila inalis. So, yung now ko is more ano, request. <laughs> na hindi inalis. Kasi fun yan eh. Pag nag-start yung UAP, very buhay na buhay yung school spirit kapag merong ano. Yeah. So, now. So you are correct, it's still happening now before the start of the UAAP season. The university conducts a kick-off party at the Quadricentennial Pavilion, followed by the Tomasian Parade of Athletes. Now this party supports Tomasian athletes and coaches that show the Tomasian spirit and camaraderie and will ignite during the UAAP season. So nung nasa UST po ba kayo, ano yung mga prominent or madalas nyo pong ginagawa during UAAP season or sa mga kick-off parties po? Well, ako, hindi ako masyado party nung, ano, nung college ko. Eh. Hmm? <laughs> then, <yan. laughs> hindi ako ano, masyado mahilig. So, uh, yeah, ako nanonood lang ako sa TV. Taong bahay lang ako. Pero when I was in ano, college, uh, varsity ako ng AB, ng swimming team. So, oh. ibang ano, mas smaller yung party namin. Hindi ako Tiger Shark, hindi yata ako pumasaya yata. So, dun ako sa AB, naging varsity ako ng swimming. So, for two years, uh, yun, I was playing for the College of Arts and Letters. So yun, meron kaming mini kick-off party sa lobby lang ng AB building. So, that's about it. So parang ang dami nating mga celebrations din kahit pa paano with that. And ang daming, ano, na-explore nyo po talaga ang college journey nyo. Now, moving on to our next ay ang pagbili ng cheeseburger sa gym. So sa tingin nyo ba, does it only exist then or now? Sa amin, hindi cheeseburger yung binibili namin eh. Parang pizza yata yung binibili namin sa gym before. Doon kami nagtatraining pag mm. ano, ng swimming. So, 
Eh, wala na ngayon yung gym. Hindi ko alam. May gym pa ba ngayon? So, den lang yan. Wala na. Wala na yata yung tindahan. Meron ba? Um, unfortunately, the correct answer is den. And tama ka naman po. Wala na po kasi yung gym ngayon. So, before the UST gym was demolished, a famous cheeseburger stand was also located inside kung saan makakabili ang mga Thomasians ng footlong cheeseburger at ang nabanggit nyo, pizza na madalas na merienda before and after PE and ROTC classes. So, um, can you recall yung memories nyo of the UST gym before siya na-demolish? Yeah, well, very memorable sa akin yung gym kasi nga dyan kami lagi nagtitraining. So, usually we'd wake, ako gigising ako ng 5 a.m. Tapos yung training namin starts at 6. So, talagang ubos na ubos yung ano ko, energy ko umaga pa lang. Kasi yun nga, dahil nga, lalo na pag comp- compete season, magko-compete kami. Doon kami sa tumatambay. So, suki kami talaga ng mga ka-team ko dyan sa sa ano sa gym yung food diyan. So, yan, nakakasad na na demolish pala siya. Wala na. Yeah, wala na po siya, demolish na po siya. Pero I think marami pa marami na pong nag-pop up na bagong food spots po na baka as a chef you are willing to try, 'di ba? But that wraps up our um segment of then and now. So that we so now that we have reminisced and talked about your experiences here in USD, may I know what it feels to be back here inside the campus sharing to the Thomasians yung mga stories mo of um, a com art student becoming a businessman and a chef pursuing your dreams. Yeah. Well, ako very grateful kasi parang meron ako another reason to come back. I mean, dahil nga dito sa show, uh, nakabalik ulit ako sa UST after so many years. Di ba? <laughs> so, ano lang din, uh, it's very refreshing kasi ang dami nagbago. Kaya nga nung itong segment sa ko, parang then and now, ganun na ba katagal? <laughs> Tapos while we were talking, parang na-realize ko na, ah, oh, nga no, ang dami rin nangyari sa USC. So, it's uh, very refreshing to see na new faces. Siyempre, the old ones, nandiyan pa rin yung mga tropa natin dito sa EdTech. So, yun, it's, uh, it's a good feeling to be back. Yeah, it's nice to be back. Yeah, parang pwede ko siya gamitin for this day. Now, Chef, I have a question for you. Now, what is something uh, you know, um, something you now know na you wish your younger self knew back then? Uh, well, nung college ako, well, obviously, marami akong gustong gawin. Marami akong gustong itry. So, nag-varsity ako, nag-teatro ako, nag-banda ako nung college. So, a lot of things. Kasi, yun nga, I wanted to make sure na na-enjoy ko yung four years ko of college. But, at the same time, feeling ko all those activities parang minamagnify niya yung insecurities ko rin kasi marami akong takot na baka hindi ko kayanin in the real world. Di ba? Parang ito kasi yung college will prepare you for that. But yun nga, sabi ko if I knew something sooner, sana naisip ko before na it's not as hard as, as it seems yung totoong mundo. Parang madali lang pala basta kailangan lang ng solid grounds which is most of which is nakuha ko dito sa USD yung, yung foundations ko, yung character building. That's very important. Mas naging confident ako and yun nga, mas madali sa akin to to achieve anything kasi nga yun, mas confident ako. Kaya nga sana, nung college ako, mas nabawas ang insecurity ko. Feeling ko I would have excelled more if mas sure ako na, or mas sinabi ko sa sarili ko more na, you're gonna be fine. Yes. And lastly po, meron po ba kayong advice para sa mga Tomasians natin na nanonood ngayon who are struggling to pursue their dreams? Um, feeling ko as an entrepreneur, kasi ang layo din ng jump ko, di ba? So, yeah. from communication, bigla ako napunta sa business. Um, ang masasabi ko lang is, do it. Just do it. Kasi hindi mo malalaman if para sa'yo yung isang bagay, unless subukan mo siya. So, kunyari, you love to paint. Tapos, parang, sabi, para dito ba talaga ako? Naghihintay ka ng sign? Mahirap siya eh. So, gawin mo siya. Do it. Kasi if it makes money for you, congratulations. You found a business. But if it doesn't make money for you, congratulations pa rin kasi at least you were able to do something that you love. Thank you so much, Chef Wado, for sharing your insights and especially your experiences and your stories here with us. And I'm sure the Mashans will learn a lot from you again, once again. Thank you! Thank you so much for being here and Beyond the Arts, Chef Wado. I hope na enjoy nyo rin po ang time nyo paggawa ng cupcake and pag-share ng uh, mga stories nyo po dati. And indeed, we have we may have journeyed Beyond the Arch, but that doesn't dull the memories one bit. With reminiscing going hand in hand with nostalgia, you will always be a Thumashian at heart. 
Once again, this is Ella Gaspi, your host for today. And we'd like to give special thanks to Yugata and Midnight Coffee who continue to support us and make the USU experience uniquely flavorful for the Mashians around the campus. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media accounts at Morph Collective and tune in to the next episode where, where we will see you again here in Beyond the Arch where the memories are waiting to unfold and stories are longing to be told.